Hey all, welcome back to another module. This is uh, module 4.1, uh, Setting Up Navigating Architect. This uh, hands-on exercise is really, uh, we're gonna be creating our first call flow. Uh, you'll notice I do have architect already up, so that means you're already logged in, you're already an ar architect. Um, I, made a, I made one that I just turned to old, but so we're gonna create a new one. You can name this whatever you want. Um, I just put a default one of my first call, my first call flow or my first flow, um, but feel free to name it however you want. A description really is just just to describe what this call flow is containing. Whether it be you know maybe you have one just for support, that's what that description really is. Uh, what the default language is, so what it's always going to default to, even if you're going to offer languages, uh, and then a division. Obviously, I just have home right here. If there's a specific test division or something that you want to put it into. Um, just go by the standards, standards of your business that you uh, that you're a part of. So once you create that, it does open up a new uh, a new window, and this is this is your architect workspace. Uh, so the starting menu, obviously, the starting menu, starting task, or whatever that at the very top is the first thing that a caller is going to hear when they first come in. Now, typically, what I do is I'll create another task. I always have a task at the starting menu. Whether that's going to transfer into a menu or not, that's completely fine. It's just that's that's how I work with it. Uh, and I do that for a couple of reasons, and I'll tell you why. So how to make a starting task as the starting path. Uh, you just click on the three dots and set this as starting task. You'll see that it flipped the menu and the starting task around. And now you can go through here and do this. Um, I usually don't put... Um, there's different ways for initial greetings. I usually don't put the initial greeting in here. Uh, usually I actually add audio. So two ways to add audio, uh, especially for this, uh, this module, this will help um, kind of show you the different ways of doing it. So in your toolbox, you'll see that you have audio. You can either one, click and drag, or two, select like this and select play audio. If you already have audio that you want to select, you just, if you know the prompt name, you can do it that way. Start selecting the prompt name, or you can actually enter text here and it'll be text to speech. Since I already know what my name is, um, I know that it's going to be welcome. And so when that pops up, then I can be able to select it. So now I have entered a prompt for play audio. So when the caller calls into this particular uh, call flow, first prompt they're going to get. Um, is thank you for calling to Miss Consulting in this example. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, connection of the components. So we're going to um, add this component to a transfer. Just so this is going to be a very basic call flow. We're not going to use this main menu right now. Uh, so when we're going to do a transfer, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the click and drag feature this time because I could I could as well click here and get the transfer. So we're going to go ahead and transfer to queue. And so easy as that, click and transfer. And now in the properties panels where you're gonna to wanna to set the queue. I usually don't change the name, but if you guys have a standard that your company follows, um, make sure to do that. Um, select queue. So in this one, I'm going to have it go to sales. Uh, here's that pre-transfer audio where you can add whatever you want. I usually add blank audio. I usually like having the, um, and it's really on preference. In my preference, I usually like to have the audio playing like that so I can see it. Um, and I don't forget, maybe I try to add it again, and then you have a double uh, a double language or a double uh, prompt. So there's the queue, there's the sales. If you have some in, some particular call flow in queue, let's say you, um, you have some music on hold, you have a prompt that plays, some more music on hold, and then you're gonna offer a, a callback or a, or a voicemail, you can select that here. I just have the default in queue for this trial version um, just because we will get to an NQ uh, module or NQ hands-on, uh, but in this one, we're just gonna go ahead and stick with default. The default that Genesis Cloud has created is uh, constant music on hold until pickup. So we can add to some priority here. So from here it's, uh, and I think we talked about it on the last hands-on, but this is negative 25 million to positive 25 million. Uh, it's really, you know, how fast do you want that call to be answered over others? Um, let's say there is some, um, you have another one that goes to the sales queue and it's for returning customers. Uh, this one is for new leads. Let's say, for example, you have two different call flows for that. 
Um, if you want to give the, the new leads a little bit more priority so they get answered quicker, um, that would be that situation. Obviously, if you want your, your returning clients to get uh, more priority or customers to get more priority, you would put a higher priority on that. That way, their calls coming in would then offer higher priority. Uh, we don't have a language skill. It's just English. It's going to go by the default that we already selected when we first created the call flow. I don't have any ACD skills. We'll actually get to that in another hands-on exercise. Um, but really, that's all you have to do. There is one last thing you do need to do in this in, in this situation. Uh, Genesis Cloud always likes to have a terminating action. Um, you can see here that it plays audio and it transfers to queue. But let's say it fails to transfer to queue. It wants to know what you should do. Uh, typically, a lot of people will put in um, disconnect call, and you can kind of see then that that validate that red marker goes away. Uh, if you have other things, like let's say by default you want everything to transfer to support, or if it if it for whatever reason fails to transfer to sales, it goes into their voicemail, so at least that they're getting some kind of interaction about that. I just put disconnect for this one, uh, just because this is uh, a very simple call flow that we're beginning on. Um, Feel free to play around here. Click and drag, do other things, add, uh, you know, add other things, um, add uh, menus, uh, play with it. Uh, this is the foundation for what we're going to be building on uh, in future hands-ons. Um, yeah, thanks. So the prior other takeaways for this is just becoming more familiar with the process of creating that simple call flow. Um, obviously, from here, we're going to build on to more. So look forward to seeing you in the next hands-on. Thanks.